Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell right off the bat, things are a little different. I am trying out the whole talking in front of the camera thing. I'm not sure how it's gonna go. I actually filmed two videos today, so if you want to see how I did this makeup look, I will be posting it. I just got done filming it, so before I finish the look, I wanted to do this review real quick because this is gonna be part of the look. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of me just being in front of the camera talking to you guys compared to doing voiceovers and stuff. If I'm being honest, just uh, sitting here and talking and stuff is just, it's a lot easier on my part. It's less video editing and all that good stuff. So it's one thing for me to actually sit down and film something than to try to schedule another day to do a voiceover. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know which video is going to be up first, the makeup tutorial or this video review, but either way, just let me know what you guys think. I like to hear your feedback and all that good stuff. So before I ramble on, let's start this review. So today I'm going to be reviewing a product from Donna Love Hair. I was really excited that they just even reached out to me. I've been following their Instagram for a while, so I'm excited for this. So the time it took for them to actually ship this to me, um, I don't, I live in an apartment now, so sometimes my packages either come to my door or they don't, and so it's just like, I never really know exactly when I have a package come in nowadays, but um, I do remember that this did come in pretty quickly. I mean, maybe, in a week or less. Me personally, I always prefer a company that has faster shipping than a better like price deal or something. So I don't mind paying a little more for a product if it means it's gonna come in in three days or so. So this definitely was good quick shipping. So that was a, a plus for me. So in the box, you get obviously the hair or extensions that you ordered. Okay, cool. So with your package, you get a wig brush. The package also comes with a wig cap, which you can never have too many wig caps. At the bottom of the box, there is a little card with Donna Love logo and all that. And then it just has information on what wig or hair that you ordered. I switched backdrops real quick so you could actually see the wig. And the wig number is SNY019. Another thing I really do like about it is that with long hair wigs, especially if they're heavy, that there are these little combs inside the actual wig. So I don't know if you can see that little guy right there. So whenever you put on the wig, it just really like hooks into your hair. So it really stays on all day long and doesn't shift around and all that. And there's three combs inside of this wig particular, and they're on each temple and then the nape of the neck. So whenever you order a lace front wig, there's always going to be this extra lace in the front. And I think a lot of people don't really know why there's extra lace there. And if you're a wig maker, of course, you will know that that's pretty much how you're going to customize how the hairline is going to be. So if you order a wig, maybe you don't really like how the hairline is or if you're cosplaying and stuff. You can always buy a bundle of hair and then just by hand tie in each individual strand of hair. It's really time consuming, but it's really cool how much you can actually customize your wig pieces. So I'm not gonna customize or do anything with the hairline on this wig, so I'm just gonna take some little manicure scissors and just trim off the excess lace. So I'm going to put on the wig cap and I'll be right back. I'm trying to find where the middle is, which is hard if you don't have a mirror in front of you. So pretty much you're just trying to tuck that wig cap all the way over your head. And you want to find those little combs that I was mentioning earlier. If I can't find them, okay, I found one. Okay. And so, let's see. So, you just want to get these little combs and then tuck them under 
and just push them into your hair. Then I'm going to get the last little comb on the back and just tuck it into my hair. And then from here you just want to adjust and style. So to style the wig it's pretty easy, just kind of get it where you want it. I'm having a little difficult piece right here. I mean really you can treat a wig just um, somewhat. You know, just like your real hair. You know, and I guess I always think like don't be afraid to really grunge up your wigs. I just think it kind of adds some life to it. You know, you just kind of go through and see where you may need more volume or anything like that. If you have some trouble pieces, sometimes you can just tease it. There we go. So let's do a close-up of the hairline and all that. Another trick to making the wig look more realistic is by putting some concealer by putting some concealer or foundation or something in the hairline. So I'm going to take a little touch of foundation that I'm wearing today. And I'm just going to do a few little dabs right where the hairline would be. You really don't need much. Like I just barely have anything on this brush. You just kind of go in. You can use your finger and work in that foundation. So yeah, you can already see like that made a huge difference and I think that is good. Awesome. You know, you can see up close through the camera. I can't see where the lace is. So something that's definitely really good about this wig is that the lace will blend really well into your skin. And right now I'm a lot darker than what I normally am. And I'm pretty confident that whenever I'm my pasty white self that it will blend into my pale skin perfectly. Now from afar you can see how that little touch of foundation just in the hairline really makes a difference. Personally I really love wigs. I think they're just really fun to wear. Um, I get bored of my hair really easily. I've been actually wanting to dye my hair black or back to black or back to its natural color. It's like I want to but then it's just I know how hard I work just to get my hair silver. So that's always kind of nice about having a wig you know you can just throw it on get it out of you and then take it off and you know, no harm done so i definitely really enjoy this wig it's not too often i actually get to wear a nicely made wig usually on my channel i'm wearing like super cheap ebay wigs or cosplay wigs and stuff and so they're not as nicely made as this so hope you guys enjoyed this first product review on my channel again this wig is from donnalovehair.com and I'll have the website link, the link to this wig specifically, in the description box below. And Donna Love was also kind enough to give me a coupon code for you guys. So use the code Danny whenever you check out and you'll get some money off. And if you want to see how I got this makeup look, I'll be uploading that video as soon as I can. And until then, I will see you next time.
Till the quiet and the echoes became cold.